Hello, and this is Gary Stauffer with SPX Cooling Technologies. And today, we want to talk about the Marley Drive Shaft Alignment Kit, utilized with Marley Drive Shafts that are in factory assembled products, motor mounted outside Airstream, or it can also be used on drive shafts used in our field erected product towers as well. So when it's time to uh, check your drive shaft alignment, it's always good to get your drive shaft user manual. This is the user manual for the 6Q. 175 and 250. Inside you'll see the assembly breakdown. This is a precision alignment. Each end has to be within five thousandths of an inch. So that is why we have to use a, our dial indicator kit to, uh, to check that alignment. And you have step-by-step -step instructions in your user manual on how to use that kit and do the final checks. Next let's take a look at the drive shaft alignment kit. In the Marley drive shaft alignment kit you will find the dial indicator. There are three different tips, a short, a one inch tip, and a long tip. You have the brass holder and set screw that are used for the 6Q175 and the 250 series drive shafts, as well as the 301 and 400. And over here you have an aluminum bracket and set screw, and that allows you to utilize the kit with the uh, Comp4 and the Comp6 drive shaft. You also have your certification of the dial indicator as it is a precision uh, measurement tool. One of the things we want to do, checking to make sure that the drive shaft has been assembled in place as intended uh, in its balanced state, is to look for a match mark on the flange of the tube and flange and of the coupling on the gearbox. Those should both be marked with a two. The motor end will be marked with a number one. Next, we want to install the holder for the drive shaft alignment. So we're going to find an open balance hole that we can install the neural knob in. It's slowly, you can thread it in there. You want to take it until where it's flush and tight against the flange. Next, you take your holding screw and you can start it into its threads. Next, you'll take your dial indicator Notice that it is offset uh, so you can insert this to where it is pointed up. And you want to slide it in until you see movement on the needle. Then you can place the set screw to hold it tight. And then we're going to rotate it to the 12 o'clock position. And we're going to use that as our zero point. We're zero at the 12 o'clock position. Next we'll take our readings at 3, 6, 9 and 12 and record those measurements. So we're 0 at the 12 o'clock. Rotate around to 3 o'clock at plus 9 thousandths. Plus 14 at the 6 o'clock position. Plus 6 at the 9. And we're back at 0 at the 12 o'clock position. But we want to install our dial indicator for our checks here on the motor end. So we're going to utilize an open uh, balance weight hole. And we're going to thread in our brass holder Install our set screw, get it started. Next, we're going to take our dial indicator and we're going to insert it in. Now we'll take our other measurements. At 3 o'clock, we're minus 8 thousandths. At 6 o'clock, we're at minus 15. And at 9 o'clock, we're at minus 9. Come back to 12 o'clock and our indicator's reading zero as it should. So the drive shaft assembly is dynamically balanced at our plant and then it is packaged up and shipped out uh, in its crate. Taped to the tube and flange is a copy of the drive shaft alignment instructions. So now we've taken our measurements on both ends and we know it's out of alignment. The next thing we have to do is uh, make sure we have the necessary items to make the adjustments to get it within the 5 thousandths tolerance per each end. So you wanna make sure you have the appropriate uh, items to make the adjustments on the alignment. So we have a Marley shim kit so inside this shim kit is a variety of stainless steel shims slotted so it can be put underneath or around the bolts on the motor and gear reducer in. There's a five thousandths, eight thousandths, and twenty thousandths thick shims. And there's multiples of each in the kit. So that is how you take and check your drive shaft alignment with the Marley dial indicator kit. Again, this is Gary Stauffer with SPX Cooling Technologies. 
Thank you for your time.